I started uh, a meeting uh, in 1984 called TED, which st stood for and stands for a convergence that I observed. I observed that in 1984, that was a while ago, the technology business, the entertainment industry, and the design professions, the best of those professions were becoming one profession. Uh, jokingly then I called it Tedologist. Nobody picked up that word, nobody cared about it. Um, and uh, it had a difficult time in its first year because nobody knew what the hell I was talking about. And then by the time I did the second co conference, it, it hadn't become old news, but it had become a leading edge observation. And now it's really old news. And now you can't believe that everybody didn't know it to begin with. Much the same way in 1976, I created a term called information architect and information architecture. Nobody knew what I was talking about. And now it's ubiquitous and, and there's 100,000 people that call themselves, that's a non-scientific number, they call themselves information architects and they have no idea I created the term. And in fact, there's about 20 that I know of, TED-like conferences, that try to follow the DNA of TED. Besides the TED conference I started and sold in 2002, um, so, which they follow some DNA and not the others because they still don't get it. They still think it's a surface observation that makes something happen and not the desire not the desire to do something. Um, my mentor is Lou Kahn and he talked about the du dualities of life are need and desire and that he couldn't be bothered with need. Need has to be taken care of. Somebody's hungry, you feed them. Needs need to be taken care of. Desire is where the creative act is. What do you desire? Well, there's parts of desire. Curiosity is parts of desire. Seeing patterns, observing patterns, part of that desire. Observing two patterns being put together, either really or in your head, and getting a third pattern out of where they lap over, that's a desire. Discovery is a desire. Understanding is a desire. To really understand something. Look at the difference of how you feel if I say an acre is 5,250 square feet, 280 square feet, sorry, 5,280 square feet. Think of the difference you feel if I say that and you go, uh-huh, or I say an acre is about the size of an American football field without the end zone. And then in your stomach you understand what an acre is and it's a different feeling. It's not as exact. I wouldn't buy land based on football fields but you understand something. And understanding something has a warmth about it for the individual.